This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Yes, good morning. Good, good morning and uh, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are. Okay, fine. Uh, uh, can someone confirm, please? Uh, can you hear me? Uh, thank you, Sham. Uh, opening your microphone and speaking. Okay, so now you can hear. Yes, you are audible. Yeah, thank you. That sounds good. Okay, uh, this is a uh, like you know, as a demo session. So I'll be explaining that like you now. So before. Uh, before we are going to uh, learn Java things, or before we we are getting started with that first first thing, we should know what we are going to learn, and what is the approach we are going to follow, and then uh, uh, what you can expect. Like it's clearly we'll set the ground level expectations, then we'll see that uh, how the how how it goes. Yeah, uh, this is a Java full stack program uh, where. Uh, Okay, like if you don't have anything, basically, please uh, mute yourself. Let me get some background noise. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so just first, I'll explain the what we are going, what we are going to cover in this course, and what you can expect. And after uh, completion of this course, uh, like now, where exactly, uh, like now, so where you are going to pay time. These are main things so you can you can expect in this demo session. The first thing is so as a uh, in a batch when you take that here we will have a combination of the zero experience and uh, it's completely non non uh, uh, comp programming background candidates and a few of them are already working. A few of them they want to just switch the job from one domain to another domain or one programming language to another programming languages. Keeping in all this mind, like you now we will start this program from the very, very fundamentals, like you now what is Java and how the Java installations, how effectively using the IDEs, like you now getting familiar with the, the build tools like uh, Maven, then Gradle, like you now what is the uh, uh, Jenkins. So everything will be covered. Okay. So the program starts from the uh, very, very fundamentals and it will go to the advanced concepts like. Uh, the Spring and Spring Boot, so how to create a RESTful web services, and how we are going to deploy these applications into the, the servers, like uh, either Amazon or Heroku, the cloud providers, so how we will be deploying that, how we are going to package your applications. So these all these things will be introduced. So this is a, a total, we are going to have the 75 hours. So this course is designed for uh, 75 hours. And uh, what are the things we are going to cover? Let me explain that here. And anybody has a, a, the like, no, a, if I'm learning the Java, uh, do I get a jo job or Java is going to be a, a, the, uh, is going to survive for a few more years? Don't have that doubts, like, no. So Java is going to be the one of the most leading programming language. And uh, after Spring and uh, Spring Boot has been evolved, uh, things has been really changed and uh, like now so most of the time like any java project nowadays if they are going to start they are starting with the spring spring boot okay and uh, the things has been uh, greatly simplified in uh, 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 by using the, the the spring framework so it is going to be a it is going to be a it is going to be a top language as you can say that another 10 years okay you need not worry about that and the job opportunities also very good in the market like right now so if you are a very uh, if you are a tower developer full stack developer you have a huge demand for that you you most of them most of you people are aware of that yeah and java latest version is 18 and like now so some of them will have the get confusion that like no should i learn what are the language it is what are the version it is released latest do i need to spend time to learn the each and every version no guys once you learn, you take a Java 11, like now in this course, we are going to take it as a Java 11 is a, uh, the version 11 we are going to start uh, start with. And like the incremental, uh, they are going to introduce the features. Whenever uh, new feature is added, just you are going to learn the 
uh, the new features like if really if it fits for your organization or you are really you required in your organization then you will go learn that and you are going to implement that that's how your process will evolve uh, from the day one when you are learning started learning that okay let me learn about the java 11 features java 12 features and don't don't we you shouldn't be spending the time in that so just to take one version learn that and once you get familiar with that once you have a strong knowledge on that so it's like you no know, what are the new features has been added into the new versions this is easy to learn for us okay now here uh, when you take the core java and here uh, we will be learning the core java then once you completed uh, the core java concepts where uh, you more focus will be given on the the, the core concepts so like you now what is object oriented programming how do you use the collections exceptions and uh, the reflections and uh, th those are the concepts we will be learning then we are going to learn about the uh, the one database okay we should have the one database knowledge so one is a sql or uh, either you can go with the no sql databases okay uh, the database one database knowledge is in the sense i'm saying that you should have the knowledge on the one sql database and one no sql database the no sql databases are something uh, like no it, it won't have the uh, such schema okay uh, the, it's a dynamic in nature so those are the the most widely used databases of mongodb uh, there are, then sql databases are uh, like uh, the oracle or uh, mysql derby db2 there are so many database flavors are there so we can go with the uh, like you know, we don't learn uh, uh, the particular database like you, know, you will take you learn the sql part like you know, the is, sql is a common language for uh, uh, any databases so any databases if they are saying that it's a relational databases and they have to complain with the the SQL uh, uh, the SQL standards, SQL standards, and once you know SQL, you can comfortably work with the any databases. But when you are switching from one database to another database, definitely it is going to take a, a little time. Or like you now, what are the like some data databases may have the different data type. The same data type might have used uh, same data type might have uh, named it as a different. Those changes you have to learn that here. Once you get familiar with the databases, and then here we are going to learn about the, how your database is going to connect with your Java programming language is going to connect with the databases. So how to retrieve and how we are going to store the data. These concepts you learn it in Core Java and the SQL module. So once you complete that, then you will learn about the the UI. This is a place where you are uh, just so we'll give the a, a brief introduction about the HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, and uh, JavaScript, uh, jQuery, Ajax. Uh, what what are those? And uh, then we'll uh, we'll we'll learn about the the fundamentals about the Angular. So what is Angular? Like you know, how you are going to uh, consume the RESTful web services. So these are the basic concepts you learn it in Angular. And here the main focus is uh, more focus will be given on the Spring framework. This is a place where you learn. Uh, when especially when you are going to uh, build an enterprise when you are going to work on the enterprise grade applications you must aware of the 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 spring framework and when you are learning spring framework these are places where you will be introduced to the jpa how uh, your objects are going to be persisted how it will be retrieved this information are these are the these are the things we'll be learning in a spring framework okay then how this what are the concepts it is covered at a high level uh, we have just we have listed at here so uh, the first thing is a uh, programming fundamentals it will start from the uh, jit and uh, like uh, either gradle or maven and ide is like so normally when you are you are writing any program so directly we will start with the writing the hello world example so then then we'll start you'll you'll be learning the incrementally or uh, like you know, what are the data types this is the way your programming go uh, 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 programming learnings will happen but in your you know in, in this uh, course we will not start with the simple hello world application so first of all the industry what are the standards they use as that like you no know? so everything end of the day the source source code is going to push to the a central repository and at the same time uh, whatever the uh, whatever the application you are going to create it here it's you cannot create it as like a a simple uh, 
simple uh, standard application, you cannot create that here. You, 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 are, you need a lot of libraries, okay? Once you create a project, you, you may need a lot of libraries and you are not going to work with the Java alone, like no, JDK alone. You, you require it, so there are so many other libraries is required when you are creating the project, especially uh, when uh, validations, you will use one library, writing the JNIT one library, writing the, uh, writing the uh, get, uh, like you know, to generate a getters and setters, you will use one library. Those are libraries, we cannot copy paste that here. So that's a places where you require a build tools you require. Either we may use the um, Maven or a Gradle, we'll use it here. Our our first example, we'll get start with the, the Maven. What is a Maven and uh, like now how to create a Maven uh, project and what is the directory structure of the Maven. Just we'll, we'll, we'll create with the Maven, we are going to create it that here. And we'll use the IDE. See, this IDE is also, we have a lot of IDEs in the market. The most widely widely used IDs are IntelliJ and Eclipse and NetBeans and even Visual Studio Code. Also, these days people are using for the uh, their Java development. So we'll see that. Like now, we are going to use the ID is uh, IntelliJ. We are going to use it here. Uh, the, this ID IntelliJ Community Edition. We are going to use it. So just we'll we'll discuss about that. How to use the ID? How we are going to create a project? So how to create a the, like you know, the Maven project or Gradle project we'll discuss. Then we'll start with the, these are the concepts you're going to start with that. Once you learn with that, then you are going to learn databases and you will develop your own application by using the, by connecting with the databases and uh, like, you no. Know, so st standalone application you will be develop. You will be, we are going to develop that here. And here we'll be having the few quizzes and uh, the assignments like you know, to understand uh, your uh, uh, you to to test your understanding you can take these quizzes and at the same time you you, you will be given the assignments where you are going to solve the the, few, the questions whatever we are going to ask it here now this is a module where we are going to learn about the the uh, the, the ui components you are going to learn about that so when you learn ui components you are going to develop the a small application will develop and you are going to deploy that here so when you are deploying this also, you can use the GitHub pages, you can use it. So how to use the GitHub pages and how we are going to deploy your UI applications, we'll discuss about that as well. Now, uh, this is a place uh, where you are going to learn about the Angular. So the most of the, the concepts will be covered in uh, Angular. And uh, uh, like now what is that, uh, the Angular, and uh, to learn Angular, you, you must aware of the TypeScript. TypeScript is which is a super superset of the JavaScript. And uh, uh, then you learn about uh, Angular fundamentals. What is a data binding? What is uh, like you now there is a, a one-way binding and two-way binding directives and uh, like you know, forms. Uh, then you have a you need to consume the the restful web services. How you are going to call the HTTP calls? Those are all the things you learn. You know the Angular, and you will develop the one application. What kind of application you are going to develop? I'll just show you that. Then this is a place where uh, we'll spend. Uh, uh, little extra time where you will be learning about the spring boot and uh, the, like my spring has got the lot of modules in that we are going to take the spring boot core aop mvc data rest and the spring security the swagger documentation how to use it here uh, ftl and uh, like my email so email configurations how you are going to do that here this is the main concepts you will be learning in you know? the module four you are going to learn about that okay uh, then followed by that you are going to learn about the ci cd tools like uh, uh, jenkins how we are going to use it sonar uh, like you know, deploying the applications into the heroku uh, like the you know, mongo atlas is another cloud service provider so this is a this is a place where uh, uh, we can get the the mongo connections we can get the uh, free of cost uh, like you know, there is a free tier they have uh, by using this free free tier we will be uh, you will be using in our applications we are going to develop that here either we can use the either mongodb or here I'm going to use the database is a Postgres SQL. I'm going to use it here. The Postgres SQL uh, uh, database uh, is can supports the even JSON type also. To to use that, just we are going to use the Postgres SQL. I'm going to use it in the, in the sessions. Now here, uh, when you are developing the applications, uh, how this applications is going to be developed? This is what at a high level we are going to say that the presentation layer will have a business layer and data access layer. 
uh, here the presentation layer whatever application you are going to develop you can use either angular or react or uh, like a no, plain uh, uh, javascript also then you will be writing the your business layer you know uh, like you know, by using the spring uh, like uh, how we are going to introduce the the security the controllers and the services domains and the dto this is a whole part you can take it as a the service layer where you are uh, where you are writing the uh, where we are going to build a, our uh, the business logic and data access layer this is a place where you will be persisting your data into the databases this database is your choice whether you are going with the relational databases or no no, no no sql databases and even if you are going for the relational databases what database you are going to use it whether you are using the mysql or postgres sql or some other database you will be deciding that and finally so at a deployment uh, uh, diagram if you take that here so either this application can be deployed in uh, either you can deploy in uh, firebase or uh, uh, like uh, you can deploy the even heroku uh, s3 also like uh, s3 you copy all your uh, ui pages and make that s3 bucket as uh, the web hosting so that uh, your application will be uh, hosted with the if you have a custom domain you can give the custom domain otherwise uh, what are the default uh, domain name they are going to give it here you will be using that and your server side application you are going to deploy into the heroku uh, uh, like no heroku way i have chosen is that uh, like no it is a uh, uh, it's it doesn't ask you to the uh, doesn't ask you any credit card or uh, uh, any other uh, details like no just it's uh, your email and uh, uh, some personal details are good enough for to for you to register Whenever you are creating the hobby projects or when you are working with the, when you want to explore something with the the cloud, uh, so I would strongly recommend you to uh, explore about the Heroku. Okay. So if you have a credit card and uh, like you now you have a, a, a Amazon account, then you can play with the Amazon account in the pre, free tier. So what are the applications you want to deploy? You can deploy and you can play with that. Then finally, you can use the either MongoDB. So why I have chosen the here MongoDB is uh, this is what like no you need in order to install in your local machine because it's going to give the uh, the cloud uh, uh, Mongo uh, cloud it is it is a cloud service so that there is no installation like no directly I can take uh, the connection parameters and I will be connecting from the my application and many of my application is also running in uh, cloud and this is also is going to be running in another another cloud provider it's going to run it here how they are going to talk to each other just we'll be learning. Uh, you will be ensuring that in the deployment so all these components are communicating with each other so this is what uh, at a high level deployment so this is a small uh, uh, variant of the same diagram it is represented here and here what what is the kind of a projects you are going to develop and how the session goes just let me uh, explain this here what are the uh, the applications or what are the examples i am going to discuss everything will be uh, like you now discussed first what we are going to do that here and how uh, like you now the controllers are going to communicate with the service service is going to communicate with the dao then the concepts will be explained uh, like now so when you are discussing about the each concepts so you will give the detail about the how uh, internally it works and at the same time when when you are asking you people to do the uh, some assignment will will explain that here okay this is what our requirement so how are you going to do that so then we'll 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 give the little details about the so how how to do that then we'll ask you to do the assignments at the same time some projects will do it in uh, the uh, the classroom itself some of the examples will do it in a classroom so how how are you going to do that those things will be uh, also discussed first then we are going to do the practical Suppose, uh, uh, like you know, we are asked, we are learning the the uh, UI. We are learning here. Okay, just take it here. This is a simple example. So there is something called the IPL statistics we are having here. Okay, in the IPL statistics, we are going to take it as here. IPL stats we are going even. I'm taking here. We have a data here. Okay, just I'm giving a simple example, guys. We have a data something like this. We are having here. Okay, this data also it is picked from the Kaggle. Okay, so we'll we'll take the the online what is the data is available. We are we will be uh, taking the data. We'll clean it and then finally we are going to do the some statistics we are doing here. If you look at this data, I think font is very small. Let me increase the font. Let me 
this is a font I'm going to increase. Font size is, I'm going to make it as a 50. Okay, so this is a font if I'm, if I'm taking here. Here we have a uh, name, uh, team, and a type. Like no type is nothing but the role. Okay, uh, then here uh, value in CR, uh, like no the uh, nation side, uh, which country is from. This is the information we got it here. Now by using this data, we want to create a, a something statistics. We want to create it on that. Like no, the team wise, how much total amount they have spent. That like uh, then uh, role count. So like there are uh, four roles are there in a, uh, if you take that here, uh, how many batsmen are there? How many bowlers are there? How many wicket keepers are there? And at the same time, countrywide. So from which country majority people are there in this tournament? Okay, this is the information we required here. And at the same time, if I'm selecting the particular team, I should get the statistics about the uh, particular team. Like you now, who are the players of this part of this team? Uh, like you now, what is the amount spent on the uh, like you no know, team amount where they have spent the more money whether they spend on the bowler or wicket keeper or uh, all rounder where they have spent the more money and what is the the player count like you no know, uh, how many batsmen are there how many bowlers are there just we are going to like you know, this is a simple example i'm telling you so first if if you are developing this project so you have a very simple requirement we have this is a one one page requirement and another one is you have got you have given the seed data hey this is my data from this data, I want to get the, I want to get, I want to get the me meaningful insights. I need to get it here. Like now, the moment I look at this, this data, I may not understand anything here. Like now, so there is a player and all this information it is available, but I don't know. Uh, like I'm not getting the any uh, meaningful insights. I'm not getting here. So now you are doing here, uh, you are doing a small application where it will take the data and finally the ui like it, it this ui application could be anything could be angular application it could be a simple j uh, simple html and uh, javascript application or you may be writing the your mobile application maybe android application or uh, you may be writing the uh, the native applications or uh, hybrid applications whatever it is client can be anything that's what i i meant here now in this application in this uh, uh, example if you take it here what are the things it is involved here also, like how to get start my project. First of all, I need to understand this data. Okay, I have a name, I have a team, and there is a type, and there is a value in I, INR, uh, value in in uh, CR. It is in the value in the uh, CR and the uh, national national site. Okay, from here, how do I find the? How do I find the? What is the total amount spent by the each team? Okay, that's the first question. If I if I get that, if I, if I'm getting this information, the first team if I'm taking here, okay, this is what first we required here. Okay, the requirement is what team name. We want to get the team name. Okay, let's go into the Java naming conventions. Team name, and uh, then you 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 need a amount. What is the amount they have spent? This is a. If I'm getting the list of this. If I'm getting the list of this, I'm done with this. This is the one thing. We are going to get the first, in order to solve the first query, we need to this. Like this, you will be having the multiple teams you will be having here. You'll be having the multiple teams. Now I'm I'm end with the one thing. Like suppose if I'm taking the team name is a, I'm taking the team name is a CSK, a CSK or RCB, whatever it is. RCB, we are going to take it here. And how much they have spent? They they have spent around 87 crores or something. The 87 crores something they have spent. Okay, 87 crores they have spent on the uh, all the players. Now this is what output we are expecting. Okay, once you get a list of all the teams, if you give to the UI developer or you are the full stack developer, you are taking this data. You are going to convert it into the that is into the column chart. We are going to convert. It. So. As a programmer, now I need to think about that. How do I give that? Here it is in the 12 and 13.11.5, uh, then it is a 3.8 to 0 0.75. This is what it is having here. So this data I want to convert into the, I'm going to convert into the uh, one object I'm going to convert here. That object name is I'm going to take it as a player. 
I'm going to take the player. Now this player has got the what are the things? Here this is the data we are getting from the file. Okay, I can change it to the uh, different names. I can give it here. Now player will have the one name. You will have the one team label. Okay, he has a team label, and he has a uh, one amount. He has a one amount. What is the amount he, he is uh, getting? And then he has a one role. This is happening. The role. And then he has a one more is a, a country. Which country he is from. Now, if I collect this entire data, or if I dump this data into the my database table, like now, I, I take I read from that CSV file, I will map to the the name and the team label and amount role and country i'm going to map all my data to the the player and finally somewhat i need to store uh, this data into the database or i need to hold temporarily into the one container object first of all we if you are not we we don't know how the what is this container and what is the uh, like no how to insert the database this we we are not aware of the if you are learning the java is the first time we, we, we may not know about that first at a high level, how what, what is happening in your application, how we are going to solve that, you need to just imagine that here. So, and you may say that, no, hey, can I can take the Excel and I can do that. Yeah, that's ab absolutely fine. Yeah, that, that's uh, exactly we are going to do that here. But if data is a uh, minimal data, then you can do that. But if data is a huge, like no, and this data, that data, like no, uh, we, we, we need a multiple uh, multiple times you will be uploading the data or data has to be updated sometimes the data has to be deleted these are all operations when you are performing a huge data when you are doing processing in excel is it may not be a feasible option so that's where we will be using the the programming languages we will be using that now here finally we get this data we dump this data into the database okay we will create a one database table we are going to create it here okay just we'll create a one uh, database table we, we, we will create this information we'll create a we'll take this information we are going to dump it dump it into the database now we are going to dump this data into the database you are going to dump it here just uh, we can take it as a, a simple example you will be dumping the uh, what are the data you have this is a database table you are going to dump that here now you need to write it some query we need to write it here which is going to return me the the team wise the total amount team wise total amount we need to get it here so that these are places where you may write the group by class group by functions you group by classes you may you may use it so then finally you will get this result and this result i have to expose outside world these are places where you will write the the restful web services you are going to write it here okay restful web services we will be writing here this is a rest, restful web services when you are writing here rest services when you are writing here and here main uh, the crud operations you you will be doing that here like now you will have the the post method we have a put method okay put method then we have a get method like this you will have a different methods you will have it here and uh, uh, then delete method options you are going to write it here finally the data whatever i am getting i am dumping into the database and then i am going to write the my server side processing i am writing here and i am exposing this data uh, no, that data can be consumed by the any of the 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 ui side client ui any any of the ui applications it is going to consume finally they are going to represent with the uh, that in this format they are going to represent if they want to table format or you know, like you now they want to grid format that's that's up to the ui developer and uh, ui requirement you are going to do that here so if you take any applications this is at a high level any applications you are going to work in uh, industries like no, most of them will have the same nature if they are purely web-based applications so you will have a, a backend we'll have a one database and uh, this database data typically will access you know there is something called the dow layers and uh, dao layers and then there is a service layer this is a place where you will write the validations and the business logic you write it here and controllers is a place where you will write the your restful web services those are things which, which is going to expose the your uh, apis and the data it is going to be exposed here and finally you will write a client this client is going to talk to the this controllers 
client is going to talk to the controllers and it will uh, like you know, it can post the data or it can get the data and this internally talk to the service DAOs and databases it is going to happen here this is a way application so uh, uh, typically it works any any web applications when you are taking here now when you are taking here uh, uh, like you know, uh, the generally the project when you are creating in uh, java if you are creating any maven or a gradle project so what are the components it will be involved in the projects like you know, the controllers services daos ctl and the dtos and enums these are the different uh, things we will have it here and there is along with that there will be some other resources and all these things will be there so uh, what i'm trying to tell you is that here learning the java like you not know, just learning the fundamentals may not be good enough as a full stack developer you must aware of the all these concepts okay so in order to learn this all these concepts we will be we will give the more focus on the uh, the spring and the spring boot we are going to give the more focus and that that's a places the most of the the business logic whatever you are going to write it here database interactions and everything will happen you know uh, uh, this layer server service uh, the the service layer it is going to happen almost all the things it's going to happen. finally that UI. Okay, if you really want to go as a pure UI developer, you must learn uh, all the concepts. Like now, as a full stack developer, you must aware of that. So, what is happening in uh, UI and how you are going to consume that? If, if, if there is no UI developer, like you, you maybe need to take this responsibility also. So, finally, this application once we built, then we have to deploy that application. So during the deployment, then you should know what is the packaging. So here we are going to build a jar or you may build the Docker image. Okay, Docker image, you, are, you may build it here. So then finally you are going to deploy this jar file into the, the cloud host service wherever you have taken. Or a Docker image, if you are taking here, you will deploy the Docker image and you are going to run the Docker, Docker image as so you are going to run that here. This is a, uh, the overall process and uh, like, you no know, so, any any application when you are developing or as a java developer you must aware of the all these concepts so the basic thing is the java you need to know and the one framework that is a, we are going to learn about the spring boot one database you must aware of that like you no know, one is sql databases and another one is a no sql database okay then you must aware of that build tool like you no know, maven what is a maven and a, maven or a gradle any one thing okay so maven or a gradle and then you you need to know about the working with the JIT, how your source code repository is going to maintain and the JIT you must aware of that. And uh, along with that, like uh, Jenkins, okay, then you have a Sonar uh, Cube, okay, Sonar Cube, okay. Then you have something called the JUnit. You must aware of the uh, how you are going to write the unit test cases. So you 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 should be knowing that here. And one IDE. So the IDE can be your choice. Okay, your choice are if companies in uh, having the standard policy. The, yeah, then you must uh, use that IDE. You must use it. These all these things you will get exposure in this course. So so far any questions? So far any questions? Anyone has any questions? Feel free to ask the questions. Okay, now here, uh, how these applications are, how these sessions are going to be conducted, like no, it's a completely online, you know that. Uh, like no, end of the day, you, you will get the recordings and at the same time, every day in the classroom, what are the examples we are going to work and the source code will be shared with you. So uh, by using the GitHub, uh, we'll be pushing the code to the GitHub and uh, the same link will be shared with you. Now here, uh, when I'm taking here, uh, like you know, the previous batch example, just I'm going to show you that here. Uh, like uh, here, this is a this is the same example. Uh, I'm we are going to take it here, and finally we will uh, write our logics and uh, uh, like uh, how this is uh, application is going to like how we are going to write a controllers and uh, 
the business logic, whatever, whatever we are going to write it here. So once we develop this application, this application is going to be deployed. And this application is already deployed. Okay, where it is deployed is, uh, I just, I will show you that here. Uh, let me take it here, inspect element. And uh, here, uh, if I'm taking here, let me refresh that here, I'll get the, okay. Here I'm going to get the roles. This is a place where my API APIs are deployed. Like no, this APIs, what are the APIs are available? Those APIs we can see that here, swagger.html. This has got the okay. Just I made a request. It is taking a little while. Yeah. This is what Swagger document, uh, which will be giving to the U UI developer. And they can see that here, uh, uh, what are the APIs are available here. They can upload the, the, the player details and they can get the statistics. Like you know, here, as I told that, like you know, the stats of the amount, if I want to get the all the teams and what is the amount, just we are getting the, this is amount, like you no know, team name and what is the amount. But this information, if you are giving to the client, you have to write a UI for that. This is exactly we have written a UI for this. Like no, what are the amount you are getting here? This is what uh, we we got the amount is a uh, C R C B has spent uh, this much amount, uh, S R H has spent this much amount. Like you you can see all this data and at the same time if I'm selecting the particular team, and I'm going to get the team statistics. I'm going to get it here. Like no, role wise uh, there is a the bowlers are there are they have a nine bowlers, six batsmen and uh, like no five all rounders and. Uh, Three wicket keepers. Okay. Similarly, you can choose the any team. You can choose it here, which we are going to get it here. Uh, who are the players and uh, like you know, the role amount and uh, the role count? We are going to see that here. So this application we have developed in the classroom itself. Like you know, the classroom, you we will be developing the APIs and how we are going to integrate the APIs so uh, uh, APIs with the UI. And finally, we both the uh, UI application is deployed in uh, uh, GitHub pages. And our server side application is running in the Heroku. So Heroku it is running here. So during the integration, you will face the, some of the cars problems and all these things. We'll discuss about the in detail and uh, we'll be uh, solving the resolving the those issues. And like that's that's a common issues. Like now, even you how much experience you have uh, when you are when you are going to deploy into the two different environments and if you are trying to communicate with that, there will be some small issues. So those issues, what is the practical, we'll see that. And we'll, we'll resolve those issues. This is what, uh, like, you know, a simple application, uh, which will give the end-to-end -end applications, how you are, uh, how, how server side you are going to develop, and UI components you are developing, and finally you are going to making it as those applications is talking to each other. This is what. And what are the code, uh, yeah, as I told that here, the code we are we are going to write it here. Most of the code, like you know, the industry standard, so we are going to follow that here. So uh, taking care of the logs, how we are going to write the uh, logs and how to see the logs. Okay. Uh, then uh, if something goes wrong, how we are going to debug that applications. Everything you will be you will be introduced to during the training. Yeah. Uh, this is the way the, the approach we are going to follow. And nothing will be like no ready made code will be taken. So everything will be uh, like no, we will take a scenario. We will take a scenario. We will try. Uh, you will you will uh, you will try to solve that uh, uh, the problem on the fly. We are going to solve that here. So this entire code will be uh, just will be coding online. And uh, during the coding time, you, I mean, I will also face some of the issues. So what are the that issues uh, like you now? How we are going to resolve that issues and practically you will be shown. Yes, guys. So uh, more or less, so whatever I'm I I'm going to cover, I explain uh, all the things. If you have any questions, like you no, know, I I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Yeah. Yeah. Please open up and you can ask the questions uh, so that. Uh, it will be uh, even useful for others also. Yeah, I did introduce myself, you know, so yeah, without that, I get started with the session. Yeah, 
fine. I'm uh, Lakshman. I have a 12 years experience in uh, Java J2W technologies. Uh, I work for the product based company. Uh, and uh, like you know, as a daily an hour, I, I do these trainings. I've trained more than uh, uh, 10,000 students. Like you know, this is uh, with the career IT. Uh, uh, it is, uh, I think it is a 12th batch, no, 13th batch. I can say that here. Yeah, so before career IT, I, I, I used to do my personal, I used to do that. Okay, so this is a little background about myself. Yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, guys, I'll I'll answer. Otherwise, no, we more or less we are done for this demo. Okay, I will stop the recording so that you people may ask the question.